Before this video begins, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my channel members, who you can see on screen now. Become a member by hitting the join button and get your name here, among other awards, today. Hello there, and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 3. Today we're continuing our Let's Play. This is episode 215. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the 32 laps of Mugello. For that, we need a B-Class car. And the B-Class car we're using today is not interesting in the slightest, so I'm not even going to try and think of a gag for it. Uh, we are using the 2010 Mercedes-Benz CL65 AMG. It's got a V12. That's oh, the yeah. only interesting thing about... It comes in boring green. Com comes in boring? Yes. Because it is boring. Anyways. Uh... 32 laps Mugello, race 32 laps over 100 miles, it is Mugello Autodroma Internationale circuit. How exciting! Look excited, Tom! Wow, well, are you excited? 32 laps of Mugello! I just realized. I agree. The... The, uh... The what? The prototypes have two brake rotors per wheel. Oh. Like a Maybach. Mm. Do you know why that's ironic? Okay, right, we need to make some improvements to the car because I can't drive that. It's ridiculous. Uh. How much you. Oh! This car had bar Brabus bits for it. Right, I need to put a dinner plate on it to make it semi drivable. It has a custom wing though, that's kind of cool. Right, and now can I get... Right. A little bit of that. Oh, that's... An interesting engine swap. Hmm. I'm not going to do it. It might do that though. Hmm. Actually. Nah. That'll do. Right, that'll do. That'll be the car. We'll uh, just run it with some aero bits, because, yeah, that's undrivable. It's too heavy. It's boring. 92,000 credits. 32 laps from Jello. 3.26 miles per lap. Yay. Uh, no, his car was built in... Um... What's that place called? Canada. I can't believe, by the way, I started and finished a game of Civ in the time we've been recording today. I don't know what that means. Civilization 5. It's an all light game. Oh good, Fail Race was made baby driver. Oh as the I own that idea game. from Boost and Ethanol right now. Oh good. Hashtag justice for boost. Okay, take two of this shit. Hopefully this time Rossi won't just run the fuck away. Yeah. Uh yes, there is this will be the halfway point of the endurances. Hooray. Woo! Which technically Whoa. means... Nope, this has not improved the car at all. Oh, well. <coughs> we'll just get around it the easiest way I know how. Fuck you, Rossi. I'll just push him off the road and we'll deal with it that way. Have we been live streaming all this time? Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why are you all fucking... Did you not oh. notice the fact that I've been calling out chat? No! Oh. No, of course I didn't. If I'd well, noticed, I'd have commented on it. You have to clear your fucking brain there, though. I was distracted for about four hours of my life. Why what? Wait, we've been recording for four hours? Yes. This is in Joro number four of today, so yes. Fucking hell. It does not feel like it. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't, because we're not no. playing the game. Funny that. Mm. 
<laughs> oh. Well, that's what happened. Yes, no. I mean, I got a meme for you. Shoot. What happened? The, uh, earlier, the uh, one of the big big snoots uh, went into. The, and. It went to the garage for an oil leak. Oh. So it <laughs> pissed itself. Yeah. The BMW with an oil leak. <laughs> Who would have fucking guessed? It's almost like that's what they're Not destined mean. to do. Also, yeah, um... There's, some, you missed... there's something wrong with your ride. There was a huge oil leak. <laughs> <in your ride. laughs> yeah, alright, yeah. There we go. Okay, I, I get it now. Just pop Rossi's cherry. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Fuck off. But yes, to, to fill in uh, what you missed, because we did like four laps before I realised this car is actually undrivable. Uh, the dashboard's made of a lot of wood. And also made of a lot of very old Mercedes bits, which I don't know how long this car has been around for. I've never seen one IRL. But it's, um, yeah, it's big. I like the fact it's got a bespoke wing. Out of all the cars I was expecting to have bespoke falls of wings, this is not one of them. So I don't know. I, I would imagine Mercedes would be very, very stupid if they ran the CL65 in any form of motor racing. But there's got to be a reason why I have this wing. So Maybe they did. I mean, they would be stupid enough to run the M8 and that car's the size of a house. So. Right, the, uh, the third generation, which is the one you got, uh, it was ran 2006 to 2014. Jesus. Surprised it lasted that long. <laughs> yeah, that was petty, but it'll fucking do. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, that was lovely, Emil. What else can you tell me about the 2006 to 2014 Mercedes Benz CL65? Oh, CL -CL. Uh, no, I didn't care about it enough to read about it. <laughs> We have got 604 horsepower and a lot of torque, but the disadvantage of that is we weigh over almost 5,000 pounds and we have a 5 speed automatic. I just heard John Lindo fucking yell brilliant. Brilliant! I don't know what it was about, but I think it was, it was supposed to be, I think it was hilarious. <laughs> SUVs are 28% more likely to kill other drivers in a crash. Which is somehow a huge 28% more SUVs than any other car. Uh, we used that in this game, Sean. Episode 68, I think it was. Incredibly ugly car. I might use it again just because it's so emphatically ugly. But I've still got to use the previous generation legacy in the next game because I didn't use it in this one. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it was DLC in this game, I think. There's loads of weird DLC. The, the, the TSX you just saw was DLC. It wouldn't surprise me if this was DLC as well, considering it's a 2010 car in the game came out in 09. The problem is, unlike Forza 4 and this, I didn't buy the DLC for this because I bought the Ultimate Edition, so I have no idea what's DLC and what isn't DLC. I don't think I've even taken advantage of uh, the thing in this game, which I probably should have done. What thing? Uh, I have something called St Stig's Garage Pack, which was an incredibly controversial thing when it came out. 
Yeah, well, well what's, what is it? It's essentially a free car pack, which only yeah. came with the Ultimate Edition was never sold anywhere else. So basically anyone else who just bought all the DLCs individually got dicked because they couldn't have all the cars. What cars were in it? Uh, I know two of the three, it was the CCX Koenigsegg and the LFA, and I think there was another one. Oh. I want to say it was the 458 Italia, but I could be wrong. Of course, the issue there is I'm not using the 458 for obvious reasons. I don't know what class the Koenigsegg's in. S1, probably. Inferno. What does the spreadsheet say we're using for S class? Oh, I know what it is, actually, I think. Does it, have, does it have Forza in its name? Yes. Okay, yeah, right, we're not changing that one. Sorry, folks. Yeah, not we're using the Forza. The La Forza, yeah. <laughs> the La yeah, actually, that makes sense, because A-Class, I know what A-Class is going to be, although that might change, because of the schedule of my name and me. Um, <laughs> A-S. I can't remember what R3 is, but... I don't know, it'll be something. R2, I know what that is, and that worries me. R1, I know what that is. Champs, I know what we're using for that as well. So essentially, uh, very very shortly, you'll see the final car that uh, cross references these games because the final three cars we're using, I know for a fact, aren't in Forza Four. Oh, so uh oh, there's a fun little fact for you. I mean, they sort of are, but they sort of aren't. Does that make sense? Are they only in, like, Forza Vista? No, the cars are there, it's just the liveries that we're using now, because this game has loads of oh. really redundant race liveries. So, for example, spoiler alert, one of the cars is a Nissan, and the Nissan does not have that livery in four, or, like, year. It's also incorrectly represented in this game, but we'll get onto that when we get to it. And not misrepresented as in my gender. I mean, as in like actual misrepresented. Isn't it? It's a thing it shouldn't be. What do you call it when something goes against the timeline? An anachronism. What? Anachronism. It's technically okay. anachronistic. <sighs> I want to say so. Also, I lied actually putting the splitter on this and upping the front tire whips has actually improved things relatively significantly. Good. As in, it only drives like a Scotian boat than an undrivable boat. The what now? Why didn't you all wheel drive? Because 10 grand. And? This car cost like 190 grand, I don't want to spend too much money on. What's ten grand? Two hundred grand. Have you seen all. how much the R2 car is? No. It's two mil. Oh. Mm. You sell old cars. I haven't got any more old cars to sell. Oh. That's the issue, and he needs to We're grow. practically running out of them. Hmm. He still needs to go into one, it's just in case. Well, thankfully, Forza 4 is much better with money. Forza 4, I have an idea of something I might do. As in, I'm not going to lie, the first two episodes of Forza 4 are going to be really short, and then the third one might be really fucking long. Good! As in, the third one, I might literally just do the Class F World Championship off the bat. Good! And make a shit ton of money and get a shit ton of level up with that. 
very useful. Oh, I don't know if that unlocks. I have to check. No man over here. No man over here. I don't know. The flat six came in and whatever the O3 model is. I don't know generations off the top of my head. I need food. I'm gonna get food. Okay, have fun. And I'm not gonna drink dry for myself. Yeah, don't do that. Here comes to drop me some food off. <laughs> Fuck you. Wow. See? Meal as it doesn't treat you right. He doesn't. I bet he doesn't. And I, even I need a bad man in my life. Exactly. You need Braun Strowman. You need Scotian. No, no fuck, fuck that. We ain't gay. No, I'm not talking about being. That gay. being said, if he wants to get married, so I can move to Canada. Just fucking fake marriage. She came and Rhino before you know, I'm Sorry, the, the girl wouldn't probably like that very much right now. She's not looking to get married to you. Yet. I hope not, anyway. I mean, if she is, then you found a crazy one. The crazy I mean, one's the best, but, you know. Uh, hey, listen, mental pussy is good pussy. I might just check the Domino app, but I don't know Domino's is like retardedly expensive. And then you can see who's making your pizza or whatever. Yeah, but Domino's here is like 20 quid for a pizza. It's fucking ridiculous. It was great. One of my one of my friends did a fucking did, did it by the app and it was great. Cause basically, the payday gang was do was doing his fucking pizza. Payday gang. Yeah, there was there was people that are fucking with both the same names as the fucking payday characters in payday. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Shameless Goat doesn't have a uh, beast. There anymore. was. It was Sydney, Dallas, and someone else. Not that Sydney, just stress. Or LRC, yeah. I don't know. I think, isn't he back to LRC now? <laughs> uh, yes and no. Yes, maybe, I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you, I just sort of give up with people with different names. I, I give up. Whatever his name is this week. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how Sam's got like three different names, but he's just like, Sam here. It's like, it can't be like it's like fucking, right. it's like fucking uh, Saber. Oh god, yeah, Saber. It's now known as Altered Kitty, but Saber. Yeah. Or Orange, or whatever his fucking Xbox name is. I just love that one. Uh, <laughs> that one race where we were trying to get his team. It's like, can we get Saber or whatever his name, the fuck his name is this week? Yeah. <laughs> Do I still have the Domino's app? No, I don't. I think it's because I got bored of it sending me fucking messages at 2 in the morning. I know yeah, I can Facebook. get a fucking fruit pot. Yeah, fucking... I go, I try to go to sleep at like fucking 10.30 for work and... Facebook notifies me that I got something similar on Marketplace. Oh, I, I don't get those fucking phone. messages from Facebook. I block like uh, all Facebook's communication with my phone. I really should do that, but Facebook my Facebook doesn't even go to my email. It goes to like some unfor like some fucking random scumsville email. <laughs> Big Dick Jeff at yahoo.com. Azzy, you got a Domino's app? No. Fuck. <laughs> Why? Because I need to. <laughs> I want to see how much a Domino's is. Why? 
because I'm almost tempted because I don't know if I can be asked to cook pizza but at the same time Domino's is like retarded expensive but I haven't had one in like two years so maybe it's come down a bit okay Talk hello about. I'm back Emil how's it okay, going to begin I'll just bullshit one that's near you I know what the nearest one to me is yeah but I don't It's not difficult. Hey! Bless you. No, you. Just go for, just yeah, like. Oh yes. Go I'm for on the wall. Go for the one there is Morrison's. Uh, so what are you doing? He's looking up pizza come. prices for me. <laughs> Cause he's a fucking lad. Oh, oh, Emil. Guess what? I'm dr I, right now. I just put a shitty ass frozen pizza out of the oven. See, I have a frozen, but he screamed. Yeah. It takes too it takes too long to cook, damn it. Yeah, Chaser, I'm kinda glad you sort of have like one name. I I like it when people have one name. Two names confuse the shit out of me. I'm sorry, I mean. No no, you're fine. Okay. Because yours is just like an Xbox game, so like I don't really care about it. It's like I don't refer to Boost as Blitz Skyline. But if he like called himself <laughs> Blitz Skyline in like certain sectors, I'd fucking throw him off a roof. The only person who's managed to like, transition names is Azla, and that's because he did it early on. So he didn't get used to it. I know, I've transitioned names. Mayor, what names pizza would you want? There. Uh, what offers have they got on? There's only thing for delivery. Um, I fucking know. Yeah. The Deals. Deals, yeah. Deals! Uh, how much are you looking to spend? Under 20 quid. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound promising. You can have a Home Alone small or medium. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm not like a medium. Fucking mediums. Mediums aren't big enough. Mediums are like 11 and a half. I want like fucking 13 and, and a half at least. Look, as a whole, um, mediums are for children. Fine. No, that's. I don't think they have any good deals with large deals. Do they have any like deals. two mediums for the price of like one and some shit? Fuck. Say. I might just have two. Have you seen Domino's small pizzas? They're the most retarded looking things you've ever seen. Hang on, actually. They're like five inches. Hang on, hang on, Emil. Mm. Large pizza, Wait. two sumptuous sides, and a 1.25 litre drink for 20 quid. I don't like sides. <laughs> I just want pizza. Large pizza for £11.99 when purchased with a chicken side. Is that delivery, though? I believe so. I can't be asked to collect it. So, what pizza would you pizza? Pepperoni. Okay. Yeah, my man. Pepperoni passion? Yeah. Pepperoni's good ass shit, finally. Someone with real taste. I'd... What chicken side is least offensive to you? What? What's the options? Chicken mix box. Chicken kickers, chicken wings, Frank's Red Hot Wings, Spicy Barbecue Wings, or Chicken Strippers. What's boneless? <laughs> I believe Chicken Strippers are boneless. Probably them. I don't get know what I can do with Chicken Strippers and then give them to the dog. Yes. Anyway, that much would run you about 17 quid. 17 pounds! What? That's fucking... You said it was... That's ridiculous for a pizza. It's a large pizza. Yeah, but I can order a large from my, my local place and get it for £10.20. I just can't be fucked to go to a cash machine. Do that then, you f But I don't want to go to a cash machine. Oh, no. I'm not forcing you here. I'm just pricing shit up. I do appreciate your attempt at pricing. Well, then do a better job, you cunt. How much is just the pizza on its own? Oh, for fuck's sake, I've tabbed that out. Fucking idiot! Menu... Oh no, one meal. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm sorry, but personal pizza is the biggest scam in the world. I know, it's ridiculous. Ale Alexis, Alexis just crashed. A large... Alexa? What hasn't crashed? Alexis. Oh, Alexis. Meal. I thought you said Alexis crashed. I was gonna say, why what? I would like to tell you, a pepperoni passion I, in large is eighteen pounds. Fucking hell! How much is it medium? Yeah. 
15 pounds. That's ridiculous. You gotta admit, that's 11 and a half inch. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's not really much. Pepperoni is though. my local place for 12 inch, which is half an inch bigger. And half an inch makes all the difference. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. <laughs> um, especially when it comes to yeah, pizza. Yeah, that's, that's exactly why you don't get lady. Yeah. It's because I got... It's cause, yeah, it's because I got sort of get lady at the pizza counter. And I'm like, that extra two inch is what I offer. <laughs> <laughs> And then they go get out. Um, no, um, been, been no, I'll just here. fucking make it. That means I've got to chop olives up and shit though. Oh, um, just takes like ten minutes. See. We will watch Jeremy Kyle in the interim though. Oh, thank fuck. Yeah. Oh, I'm Neil. Excited. One of the dominoes is apparently by Big B's mobile di disco. <laughs> what? Big B's mobile disco is a mobile you, disco. Fuck's sake. Haven't you heard of it? It's a big yeah. world wide. Fucking DJ Big B like. DJ Big D. Mash, mashing dance floors and fucking ditches. I had a friend once who told me about the worst experience he's ever had in his life. He went camping with a friend. And apparently like his dad or something started playing this motivational music. And it was literally 45 <laughs> minutes of this guy just going... <laughs> what was it? When you say chair, I say arm. Arm. Oh, <laughs> chair. <laughs> chair. Oh, no. It's like, when you say, when I say chocolate, you say pudding. Chocolate, pudding. Pudding. It could be worth a meal. It could have got, you ever see on the, on the, in, uh, like, around on the internet, that infomercial for the fucking Hooray For You CD? No. It's a CD that just plays like cheering and someone pretending to congratulate you for being awesome. How much is it? I don't know. Emil, are you interested? No, I'm gonna buy Azurit for his birthday. Oh god. I bought your Horizon I'll be 4 last year. under by then. So. Although that wasn't really your birthday, but you know. <laughs> it's like the nicest thing you'll ever get out of me, so. Yeah. Other than the care package, of course. Boomer camp trip, yeah. I am basically a boomer, we've already established this. No, you're not. I can stand you. I'm more of a boomer than you are. Yeah. Yes, go Do you enjoy right. CCR? Yes. Fucking CCR's banging. <laughs> no, they were banging for like their first albums and then they sucked. Who gives a shit about albums? We only care about two songs when it comes to CCR. Yeah, exactly. There's two songs. There's that one, and there's fucking Bad Moon Rising, and that's it. I guess Green River exists, but only if you play San Andreas. I gotta take a look at Spotify, actually. I see the Bad Moon Rising. Clearwater River. The best one with that was that time where, like... He got accused of, uh, like, yeah, one of them went yeah. solo, got accused of stealing a riff, so he literally took a fucking guitar to the courtroom and was like, this is how it's different. And then played <laughs> it. And they were like, oh yeah, shit, so yeah, okay. There's, yeah, there's Bad Moon Rising, Fortunate Son, Have You Ever Seen the Rain, Down on the Corner and Up Around the Bend. Come on, round the bend. I remember that song from Guitar Hero, actually. Yeah. Also, I like Come how this giant fucking... Band. Barge of a car apparently has a stopwatch. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you own? You know what, Emil? Are you proud of me? The because I didn't attend the ETCC race. The last fucking time I was on Forza Motorsport was for your thumbnails. Sure. I mean, Sean. Yeah, are, uh, I mean, Sean is pretty is pretty bang on buying a Dodge yeah. Super Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Then again, I bought a Honda, and that's like... Nowadays, it's not too bad, but if I bought a Honda in, like, the <coughs> early 2000s, that would be peak, like, all... that. That's actually, that's beyond Boomer. You're like baby got, Boomer, uh, that's like full-on Boomer buying a Honda. I got a, I got a fucking uh, more than a feeling on my fucking playlist. Oh, God. Ba, 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 ba. I've got, um... And, uh... And peace of mind, so. I've got. Oh, those are good I've got songs. Thingy in a playlist. I've got, um. Oh, God, what's that song called? Carry on my way, words. I've got that. Oh, 
and <laughs> a song named have after the third worst state in the United have States. You see, have you seen the fucking video? No. The fucking the the, the best redhead you ever seen in your life. Oh <laughs> God. Singing the fucking chorus. I need to check that. <laughs> that sounds like my sort of video. Carry on my way with the. Actually, Neil, I have a question. Scotian, there's a question. What? How much Tom Petty do you have? Uh, what? How much Tom Petty do you have? I have like. I have uh, free falling and uh, running down a dream. Hell yeah. Hey, plant pot. There might be another one, I'm not sure. Running down a dream. Hey, pot. Plant. Is this going to coming out for anyone else, or is it just me? Yeah. 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 Okay, that's good. Uh, is, is it just... Oh. As a... Yeah? Flip the regions. What? Flip the regions. Okay. Flip me uh, um. This is how we deal with things, ladies and gentlemen. We're professional here. This is how we oh, do... Oh god, they've changed it to just Europe. What the fuck? I know. What's the closest thing we've got? Russia. BLIAT! <laughs> Very nice! Go to Russia. Greeks to see us. Go to Russia. Done. Greeks to see us. Great success. Right. Key features to say here. While we're here, here in Russia. I full heartedly support China's decision to annex uh, Hong Kong. Fuck the Hong Kongese. Yeah, you gotta say that when Russia's server. Uh, Vladimir oh, Putin yeah, yeah, yeah. is the single greatest man to ever exist. I wish I could I buy a Gaz totally suck his dick. I wish I could buy a Gaz Volgar Sava. However, I can't afford one. Yeah, because he. Hashtag don't don't free Tibet. <laughs> unfree Tibet. <laughs> Hashtag annex. It's pretty Tibet. unfree right now, Emil. Also, Crimea should totally be a part of Europe. Russia. Also, you also um you own the uh, also China owns the South China Sea. Opals occupy the rice. Um, Hondas are sort of now also high plant pot. I don't know if I said it. We're sort of too busy trying to figure out the server regions. Um, yeah, Honda is kind of a boomer mobile. Over oh. here. It used to be. There's a lot of Civics that are like automatic, and there's a reason for that. Because old people bought Civics exclusively until like the early 2000s when Gran Turismo told people the Civic Type R existed. And then it <laughs> kind of me? picked up a bit. Did you know the Civic Type R existed? Uh, we didn't until Gran Turismo came out. I mean, you gotta remember when Gran Turismo 2 came out, that shit was like, that's how, well, Gran Turismo and Gran Turismo 2. That's what introduced most of the Western world to Japanese cars, and then Fast and Furious just basically like drove that point home. Because <sighs> most people in North America probably wouldn't be able to tell you what the Toyota Supra was or what the Maz well Mazda RX-7 maybe because it kind of looked a bit like a C4 Corvette. Um, C5. C4. C5. C5 was an album oh. crunches when one came out. I don't think. Uh, it wasn't far off. It's close, but... C5. It's good therapy for you. I would hate to see what your therapist looks like. Though. It came out in... 1996. No. 1996. Really? Yeah, yeah the... In production, October first, nineteen ninety-six. Oh well, fuck me. The year, wrong. the year, and the year I was born. Wait, did you say this? Wait, you're ninety-six. Yep. What month? October. Oh, you've got three months on me. No, wasn't it your? It was his fucking birthday, like what? So. Oh, I don't pay attention to birthdays. I have a strict Discord rule as to not celebrate anyone's birthday. 
We all say happy birthday, and then everyone forgets. It's like, so it's like Facebook, where we become popular for like an afternoon, and then everyone fucks off. Yeah, Holly yeah. equals your Buick, I guess. They're sort of similar ideas. Um, never cared much for Fast and Furious. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying in general, that's sort of what drove the point home. That's why we have all the modifications, the, the big daddy toys, Supras, and the Nissan 300 ZXs, and well, ZXs, I should say, for Americans. Oh my god, is that a Nissan 300 ZX? There you go. That's my American. And I still. Excuse and me. And I still second. prefer them. <laughs> right, there we go. And I still prefer them, but. I only care about the fucking charger in that movie anyway. Of course you do. <laughs> my name's Dominic Toretto, and I drive a Challenger. Well, he drove an RX 7, though. Yeah, that never made sense to me. And the guy's like sat there when he did like the all the Fast and Furious guys by the guy who built it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I really think it suits Dom. I'm like, really? That's like the only tuner car he's driven throughout the entire series. And I'm not being funny. The RX-7 is hardly like the most American tuner car ever. If you drove like an Eagle Talon, I guess it would make slightly more sense. That would have been funny if I can Eagle Tower presented Cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, I mean, they've done that bait and switch before. Uh, in the prelude to Fast and Furious, there was a 3000 GT, or what was a 3000 GT, and then they changed it at the last minute to a Dodge Stealth. Which is why the <laughs> 3000 GT never got any of the Fast and Furious rules. And no one cares enough about the Dodge Stealth because it's American. You know, the only thing I about care about in the fucking first Fast and Furious is that during the fucking chase scene with uh, Johnny, with Johnny Tran, there was they shot a fucking uh, first generation Pontiac Sunbird. <laughs> what? Yeah, there in the one of the line of cars that was parked. There was a Pontiac. There was a nineteen. Like a first generation Pontiac Sunbird. Nice. What the fuck was the Sunbird? I know what it was, but what it's the not fuck a Firebird. Was... Just pointing that out straight away. No. I think the Sunbird was like a. The ba uh, the first Sun. Like a actually, the, the first generation. Actually, the first Sunbird was, was like a major version of a Firebird. Actually, but this the seventies one. Oh. Yeah, with the headlights. Yeah. The generation after that is generic. Scotia I believe the. I believe the. Sunburst Cavalier. Yes. Yeah, it looks pretty fucking Cavalier. Yeah. How much is that Geo Metro going pretty for sure on eBay at the moment? Pretty sure it's some fucking GM platform. Well, the Cavalier was. I want to say, actually, I think the Cavalier and the Cavalier were related, I really think. The trash Chevy one and the slightly less trash, but still trash Fox one. Mm -hmm. Euro Pontiac Nissan. I, mm. Nissan's not really seen as a sporty brand. They're currently that brand that makes those two SUVs. One of them looks diabolical and one of them you can't go free. You know how they say in the world you can't go like you're never three foot away from a rat yeah in the UK you're never three foot away from a Nissan Qashqai <laughs> kumquat yeah the kumquats are everywhere yeah I love yeah I, but I love doing stuff like that just seeing going through the fucking first Fast and Furious film just see what fucking car is parked in, in the side there was like an old Buick or something that uh, Brian parked behind during the um Tuna on white, no crust scene. I hate him. I don't think you could make a single worse sandwich than tuna white, no crust. Fuck tuna. The crust is the best part. Yeah, the crust is the best part, but fuck tuna. That, that's why fucking French bread is amazing, because it's all just crust. Oh, French bread's good. The French can Got make it. good bread. Not much else, but they can make good bread.
The best, the best uh, car on the show in Fast and Furious was the Ford Lightning. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I remember the Lightning. That was the parts store car, wasn't it? Yeah. I like the Jetta. The Jetta was silly. Yeah, the Jetta was silly. That video still confuses me to this day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one where it's like Fast and, the Fast and Furious cars by the guy who created them. If you have, you've seen it, I assume. Me, no, but I did he, like, he talks about I certain he cars. About he cars are fast. He talks about certain cars, which is like, okay, sure. And then he speaks about some of the more obscure stuff, which is cool. But he also misses out big ones. Like? Well, he describes Letty's um, Nissan 240SX at Race Wars. He which is a bit forgettable. He describes the S2000 at Race Wars. Ah, uh, yeah. He doesn't just say anything about the Jetta. The Jetta's cool. The Jetta's like the most I, one of the more iconic cars in the film, and he doesn't say a single word on the Jetta. Yeah, the Jetta's cool. Meanwhile, he's sat there just saying like the S2000. That's in one scene, like yeah, yeah, it had like a hundred grand put into it, and it was like the fastest S2000 in the world. Sure. And then at Too Fast Too Furious, it was like, oh yeah, Suki's S2000, we supercharged it, it spins the tyres through all three gears. <laughs> no. Like... <laughs> Actually, I think you said he even spun the tyres in six gear at one point in that car. Nice! That's how you know you're doing it. You'd have liked the guy, though, Scotian. Mm -hmm. He just sit there and spoke about the muscle cars the entire time. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find that fucking... I'm just trying to find out what the car is that Brian parked behind her in that fucking scene. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think it's a Ford Granada. I haven't seen the first film in forever. American Granada, I'm assuming, not the good Granada. Yeah. yeah. The Grenada. Yeah, not the good <laughs> Grenada. Or even the Mercure Scorpio, which it became. They sold none of. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's a cool livery. Anyway. But yeah, no, so this, I don't. The first film I haven't seen in a while. I think the most recent one I saw was Tokyo Drift. And then probably 8. Hello, Lana. I went to the cinema to see 8. Good shit. Mars, did we leave the kids at Camp Granada? No, no. It's Camp I Wanna Pee Pee. Because See, that... on a quote, or at least quote correctly, you fucking disappoint. That's what it was. Quite, it was Camp I Wanna Pee Pee. That was in Fred Free. No, I'm talking to, I'm talking to the other fuck. Alright, yeah. Remember that, everyone. They made free Fred films. And Fred Free was quite literally held at Camp I Wanna Pee Pee, and they thought that was a funny. John well, Cena's not is. even in the third one. Oh! And John Cena was the best like. bit about the first one, because he like, body slams Fred for a fucking day. Yeah. That was like, why did the Fred movies exist? Why do you exist? Why do I exist? It because I'm, Pixie Lot I'm a family liked by people, and that kid gives me reason. It had Pixie Lot in it, it was the most annoying voice for a very pretty girl. <laughs> Fred! Wait, was it? Was she? Fred! Was she under? Was she, is she under? <laughs> Fred! Wait, <laughs> that's what she sounds like. Emil, how old is she? She was like 19 when that film came out. Oh, okay. I think Fred or Kukul Shank, or whatever the fuck his name was, was probably like 22. Fred! Jesus Christ! <laughs> that's sound what like she Vicky sounds Guerrero. like. You, she, <laughs> did she sound like Vicky Guerrero? Yeah, because she's got a British voice, but like it's whiny at the like top end. It sound, it almost sounds stale. She's got like Brian Adams syndrome I mean, at like the top yeah. end. Excuse me, me. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what happens when Emil has to drive a terrible car for. Fred. Avenge me! And when he can't pull enough of a gap 
for it to actually fucking matter. I mean, are you gonna have to pit? Uh, yes, but I'm trying to make sure Be they careful. do first. I don't think fuel economy actually matters in this game by the looks of it, so. <laughs> Please shut up! But sure. Red. Or should I say. Red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, Fred? Greg, you're responsible for your taxes. It is not TurboTax.com. You should have known what I have done and married an accountant. Now you're gonna lose your house. <laughs> Did you you're hear about his house? You're gonna lose your house. What happened? The government, like, always tried to take him to prison. Because, like, he had a bunch of protected, like, fucking marshlands in his back garden and he just like obliterated it all. Nice. So now then he started like a go fund me to like help rebuild his garden. <laughs> Otherwise he has to go to prison. And then he got done for that really weird thing the other day. Although I don't know how true that is. Apparently he's been like raising a girl since she was like 14. And then at age 18, as soon as she turned 18, he was like, yeah, you're going to have to have sex with me and my wife. A bit strange. That what doesn't the... surprise me. Oh. Is this Onision you're talking yes. about? Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Apparently Onision's oh, yeah. moral compass is not all that dissimilar to mine, but kind of is a bit... It... Emil, right. Emil, you're, you're digging yourself into a hole. Onision's moral compass is apparently very simple. If it's against the law, he won't do it, and he thinks it's bad. However, if it is fair game by the law, no matter by how much he will go ahead and do it. I believe in the first part, I don't do the second part. I don't like breaking the law. I'm not, I'm not breaking. breaking the law. Breaking the law. Stop! No, You're it, violating it, the law. What is it? Dirty deeds. What's the one from Simpsons? Kindly deeds. What? Done the for breaking free. the law when Judas Priest was on it. Respecting the law. Respecting, Respecting the, the law. law. <laughs> That's Swedish love <laughs> death metal, even though Judas Priest is not death metal. <laughs> not even slightly. Oh, not even close. They clearly have they not heard death rock. metal. March Does Simpson that surprise mode. you, though? Hold on. Homie! <laughs> no, that's, that's nothing <laughs> like Homie! <laughs> Bam is close. Homie! Homie! Touch me, Homie! You're so sexy when you're No, no, on. no, stop. You're so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> How? Really just the, us attempting to do impressions of characters we enjoy. <laughs> this is Walmart. How is me? You a buster. Good Shut the morning to <laughs> you. Homer is a bus. As a, that's, you sound uh, you sound like an emo singer. You sound like the, someone who like uh, fucking I just a shit cup for it. Like I, I live every day. My homie, Mr. Right. Fuck. I wanna fuck you in the ass. No, God, not that. I wanna that's, fuck that's you in the ass. That. <laughs> it's a great. <laughs> A grandma. It's is not my chilling. spirit animal. My spirit animal is that cancelled Volkswagen advert that says bollocks all the time. But <laughs> have you not seen that one? No. It's like for the diesel Passat, where it's like this little girl that just goes around saying bollocks to everything. <laughs> and Hold on. And dad puts petrol in the Passat and he goes bollocks rather, and he smiles. I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather let's uh, watch the fucking terrorist BW. one. Oh yeah, the terrorist poll. That's the best one. Small but tough. <laughs> That's a great one. I will love them. They should have made that for real. And then send it to Hong Kong. <laughs> Hold on. I'm watching the fucking video. Which one? Oh, uh, the fuck you Bollocks. in the ass. Bollocks. Oh my. Okay, hold on. I have to pause your stream. I agree. Fuck you, Rossi. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch lasagna. Bitch <laughs> <laughs> lasagna. <laughs> Bollocks. Bollocks.
Oh. Fucking street justice. Listen, if it's Rossi, it's not Bullets. street justice, it's just natural selection. <laughs> That's, that was the greatest video of all time, thanks for sharing, Emil. No worries. I know you like a good pair of bollocks. So. I mean, I should've just fucking ran Harry into fucking off turn one anyway. I heard Street Justice happened a fair bit in the second to last round. Would you like explaining that one? Wait, which one? Uh, the second to last round apparently had some Street Justice take place. Um... You and Harry. Came on the hut, uh, final corner, Harry decided to cut it inside and ran me off the track. Oh. I ran myself off the track of that last round because you couldn't see shit going into the first corner. I seen you what run. What track did you even <laughs> race? I can't. Hatch. Oh, yeah. Oh. The first corner is always terrifying, but like in the rain when you literally can't see a single thing because you're like behind all three cars. Me. And like that. I think me and Hoop went off, or me and Harry or something like that. No, me and you. Me and you went oh, off yeah, in the first turn. Yeah. And then, uh, we were behind each other, then you went off and fucking one of the back turns. The Honda can't deal with the rain. I'm almost mm -hmm. fairly certain the Honda well, is neither... worse in the rain than any of the other cars. Neither can the Dart. I think the Marge Dart says on um, for three minutes. But, um... Uh... Ah. It was great, because fucking you kept going off with that, and I kept passing you, and they passed me back, they went off again. Yeah. Yeah, I forget how bad the Honda is at rain. It's diabolical. Thankfully, when the rain cleared up, I got faster, but so did everyone else. Thank you, Sean. Thank I you, Sean. I, Dart I wish I could have I wish I could have gone to Rhino with that first fucking uh, race. <laughs> we could just bit him off. <laughs> For fucking bitting me off at that one turn. I really should have had the race win there. Alas. Silly errors. I got my second though, so I'll take it. Mm. And CR27 didn't win, so I don't have to eat my pubic hair. Yay! Yeah. Which is always a benefit. I do. Yeah, pubic hair isn't taste. Yeah, I, I appreciate every single day I wake Why up the fuck not having you know to that? eat my pubic hair. Oh, I don't. He's probably gargled like, on it. I, I love this, sil this silver stun race so I can laugh at myself just bidding at the final turn trying to fucking capitalize on AK and Rhino and Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they say you cut the call. <laughs> No, I just went off. <laughs> nice. I, I still forget what race it was, but it was the second round, and me and Azza had the most retarded battle. Limebrock, the only race he ever showed up for. Yep, Limebrock. Yes. Race. That you, makes it easier to remember. Bottom of the leaderboard. <laughs> and now it's great. Hey, I was still have the point. I remember you went at Limebrock, you and fucking... Uh, you took a Lotus out. Yeah, and Lotus hated me for like two seconds. I didn't mean to, I swear. It Lotus wasn't as bad as the fucking justice we had to pull on CR27, so... Because <laughs> we fucked him up. What? What did yeah. he do? Oh, he was driving like a complete cunt in the first race. Oh, so what did you do to him? Uh, well, he drove Rhino off at the last corner. Cunt? Yeah. So when he proceeded to try and get back on track, I T-boned the shit out of his car. <clears throat> and then AK pushed me across the finish line. Nay. So AK helped you out there? Yeah, I aimed for his fucking car. <laughs> I could have got he round did, him did. and just capitalized on the position and beat Rhino, but I needed to deliver three just because he spun me off earlier, so I just had to fuck him up. <laughs> I know, I know, um... Oh, the second race of Lime Rock, uh, Boo spun out at the top of the hill, and I nicked him. Yeah. Yeah, TMZ maybe should have got some points for that in hindsight, but what are you gonna do? And he didn't show up for, like, any of the, well, all the races he did show up for, just didn't do particularly well. Well, 
Chicane's weird. Chicane either gets really lucky or insanely unlucky. And he doesn't really go in between the two. But he still gives I the greatest answer to the vacuum question, so... That makes him worth it. And then... And then Seven ran fucking Chris off. Why? Oh! And collected everybody. Kind of... I'm still not sure whose fault that was, to be fair. I don't think it was entirely Seven's fault, in fairness or something. Because the problem is, Seven would have gone into the wall anyway, but in fairness he sh I think it was Chris who was coming over on him. No, uh, Seven had the run on Chris. Yeah, the problem is, Seven would have either gone into the corner and if, in fairness he should have backed out the move, but at the same time Chris should have defended on him or something, to stop him literally getting the run on that hard. Uh, Chicane hasn't got a new car yet, he was asking for suggestions in the last stream I went to. Naturally, I'm trying to convince him to buy the best car in the world, the Acura CSX. But I think he wants like a Speed 3 or a 6. We should convince uh, AK to buy a TSX. AK? Nah, he's buying a pot hatch or some shit. Get Azza to buy one, so maybe you could drive it you one fuck day. off! He's, got, he was, a he's got a mild gonna... hatch, he's happy with it. I thought he was gonna buy a fucking <laughs> a lukewarm hatch. Well, the thing is, it's not the it is the mild. Is it mild? The thing is, it would be technically the Yaris hot hatch, but it isn't because the Yaris okay. had a hotter version of it. Emil. Yeah. Yeah. But I want. Yeah, I want that. Emil. I've seen import. Yeah. I thought I thought AK was buying a fucking Sintra. <laughs> we're trying to find <laughs> one. There's only thirty two in the UK left. He should buy Sintra though. I've seen one for sale, and I think it was a V6, but I didn't alert him. So I think he. The weird bit with him is he's mental enough to the point where I think he would actually buy one if it popped up. Just for yes. the fucking memes. I mean, it'd he probably be easier to him to just import a Montana or something. No, no, fuck that. that, that that's not doing the meme. The meme, you've got to buy a Sintra. Because it. it the, the, to be fair, we also saw the Sintra advert the other day, which was incredible. <laughs> the fucking music. Yeah, I saw Seven was in the ETCC chat. I'm trying to ignore his existence. <coughs> <coughs> and does anyone really blame Emil? No. I mean, to be fair, I don't really give that much of a shit. I'm just quite happy we got rid of him because I fucking haven't. I, I'm genuinely not exaggerating when I say. From the moment I met the person, I didn't like him. The tap My problem is, you know, if someone if he pops into the stream, and all, I can hardly get rid of the fucker. What should have happened is Funder should have got rid of him on injury because he's fucked up a lot of people in there. But he didn't. He just sits in HD public right now. I'm banned him. I was going to, and then I realised I don't really care that much. Now, in point of Pontiac Montana misses the fun. The fun is he's got to find fucking Sintra. The locally delivered version, because that's just the best. Terrible car. Horrible car. Ex again, I've never actually seen one IRL. And trust me, there has been drecks of vo voxel sold here. I've seen voxel cascadas more than I've seen Sintras. Mm. And the Cascada is an appalling excuse for a product. The problem with the Sintra is Ooh, we've got I can't remember here. if I've ever seen one because it just looks like the fucking Sephira. There is smoke coming out of whatever's in front of us. You can't tell me otherwise. What is that? I think it might be an Audi or a BMW, which makes sense. <laughs> Come here, Carl, what are you? Uh, I don't think they ever did a diesel. It was either 2.2 Ecotech or V6. Preferably the V6, but uh, Ecotech's probably what I'm going to have to deal with. Because there's more Ecotechs. There's actually more base models. Yeah, I noticed the low fuel. Don't worry. I, I, 
I have two gauges in the car to keep me occupied. That is an Audi. That's Weber's Audi. I wonder if Rossi might have pinged into Weber because Rossi isn't really anywhere to be seen. <laughs> um, when I when I spun him out last time, he got collected by Evans, and I don't know if he ended up going into anyone else. <clears throat> I performed undeserved street justice on Rossi, but because it- Oh god, I'm being street justiced! <laughs> that was fun. Okay, Mueller. I have been street justiced. Good. Kappa. I now have un-street justiced. Uh, yes, Mariva VXRs did exist. No one knows why. Yeah. They sold about 200 of them, I think. If uh, That's 200 too fucking many. Yeah, I know. They were basically just... Funny thing is, the Mariva VXR actually existed before the course of VXR, so... I, I still... I'm sorry, who looks at a course of VXR and thinks, I want this, but bigger? Even the Sephira VXR. No one. The that had no point. The, 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 the no, the worst car ever is the fucking oh god, there's another pair. The worst one ever was the fucking Safira GSIs. Those are driven exclusively by knob ends. Yeah, I've seen those with big fart cans on them and people thinking they're oh, cool in their fucking people carrier. They don't. No. No one in MPVs oh. looks cool. Emil, question: When are you pitting? I might just not pit just to fucking spite everyone that keeps telling me about the fuel level. Nah, I'm just going to pit probably next lap. I think Mueller's not got much longer. Mueller's in the same boat as I am, so... I mean, I at least we know now that they all do pit eventually, so... In theory, I could probably do a few extra laps without pitting, but... Mind you, the tyres are start. Yeah, the tyres are about 38%. Maybe it's time to think about it. Yeah, the uh, the Safira was the Subaru Traffic. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen a Traffic imported. I've seen a picture of a Traffic on UK plates before, which was an abomination to see. But, you know. <sighs> what you gonna do? What you gonna uh, do? No, the, the Chevy Cruze is an Astra. It's the other way around. The Astra has been around since like. Shit. Well, technically, the Astra was the Cadet before it was the Astra. So the Astra has been around since like '67. So. Oh, fuck. I think the cruise came after. Also, they tried to sell the cruise yeah. here and it didn't end well. It was also on BTCC. It was. <laughs> yeah, Jason Plato drove on to victory. I think. In Hell the yeah. Championship in like 2010. Or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think they pulled Vauxhall out to put the cruise in, and then the cruise was around until 2016. Look at that! That's great pit entry right there. Good job. And before your AI starts acting like a fucking idiot. Well, actually, to be fair, that's the first time it hasn't acted like an idiot. Oh, nice. Other than the wheel wobble. But <laughs> well, this is a Mercedes wheel wobble, basically standard. Oh, no, Jespacito is behind me. <laughs> I realise that's what I should call him now. Because he's G. Espacito, so he's Jespacito. Despacito. Na 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 despacito. Na na. Someone told me the other day. Someone laughed at me the other day because I was like, I thought all those lyrics were in fucking Spanish. They're like, no, it's all in English. I was like, fucking no. They what? Yeah, apparently despacito is actually in English. How the fuck? I never realised it before because I thought it just spoke like a spank word, which made it all sound like it was Spanish. <laughs> da 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 despacito na 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 despacito da 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 da
Papa. Hey. I think he calls her a gringo at some point in the song as well. <laughs> that might be my imagination, though. I don't know. Hey, gringo! Well, Save just your Bieber's a fucking melon. No problem to so. kill you. That's still. The fact that that is the first male line in GTA 3 is great. The first ever male line in the GTA 3D universe is Senor Dickhead, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> Senor Dickhead, he's no problem to kill you. Alright, alright, get lost. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, bro. Let's get I mean, the, the best street line and get a change of clothes. I mean, one one of the best best lines of GTA 4. So, so, so you're full of shit or what? No, no, the best line from there is uh, fucking. What is it? You know, for a dumb yokel. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, for a dumb yokel, you are a pretty funny guy, and for an annoying dick, you are really an annoying dick. Ha ha ha. boy. What is your name? Big Mouth Creek. Very catchy. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Vlad and Nico's dynamic is great. Uh, Darkasm. I love the name Yoko. <laughs> hey, the Yoko! Fatty Roman. Colombian Russian immigrants, hell yeah. I can't do a Colombian accent. I'm not Michelle Rodriguez. It's no problem to kill you. That just That's sounds not. like Tony Montana on the list. Miss <laughs> <Less> face. <laughs> Scum face. Oh god, now I've got that song in my head. Remember that um, song on... Um, um, do you remember that song on Wave 103, fucking Sputnik Missile, Love Missile F-111 or whatever the fuck it was? Mm. Yeah, Scott well, that was. That one. It's a good fucking song, mm -hmm. that. Although it's hard as fuck to find, I had to buy it for 99p to get it in my Vice City soundtrack. Fuck me! No, no, so if you want the Vice City soundtrack, hit this boy up. Because it's actually complete. Because I even bought some of the shit that wasn't even in it. That good. We also accept um, Running with the Night, which was not in any other version apart from version 1.0. Which is a shame, because I think all GTA games need some Lionel Richie. But it, yeah. I mean, you can't yeah, argue with it. Nope. US bomb cruising over here. <laughs> Shoot him up. Yeah, that is a good fucking time. Have you seen the music videos where it's fucking weird? No. Nah. They're in like spacesuits and shit. Teenage done now, fashion's dead. Controversial opinion. Huh? What? Wave 103 was better than Flash FM. I respectfully dis. Right, Wave 103 had some bangers on it though. Yeah. It had Atomic, uh, Pale Shelter, Pierce, Tears for Fears, which is the best song they did. Um, mm -hmm. It has the Sputnik missile, it had Cars. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking. There's some right bangers on it. Obsession, which is. Weird yeah. yeah. Sunglasses at Night, you can't deny Sunglasses at Night is a fucking banger. I have to say something I recently realised about Vice City. What? I like all the fucking music in that game. There is not... I don't think there's a bad radio station. There is not a bad song in that fucking game. Uh, and before that it turns is a good point, actually. Is there a bad it? song in that game? There's got to be one song that irritates me to no end, but I can't actually think... I never really bothered with Wild Style or Fever, so I'm not too sure on those two, but... All I know is yeah. Wild Style had the message, and I mean, you can't argue with the message. 
because the message is a good song. I like fucking Esper Sutton to whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah, that's was. just great for the fucking day. It's just so cheesy. I love it. Mama, Papa, do. That song. Yep. Hey, hey, oh, it's Ken Rosenberg. Yeah, he'll take you to me. <laughs> now, there's two brothers. One operates the Earth uh, Me Flying, and the other operates the business. They want a straight exchange on open ground. That's them in the chop. But yeah, no, Esperanto's good. Yeah. I don't know how you can be nostalgic about stealing Colombians' livelihoods with them driving taxis, but strangely enough, you can. Thanks, GTFYC. It's still the best one, and I will not have any competition on that. Yeah. San Andreas is excellent, okay. but Vice City is better. You want to hear the greatest Reddit post of all time? No! Some girl fucking cried because she got assigned as my partner on a school project. That sounds like I would cry too. Yeah. Sounds like me, exactly. That doesn't sound like a Reddit post, that just sounds like what happened today. Oh, it's you remember fucking that one time Saturday. Where we accidentally watched a video of like six British people laughing over like various posts. Oh yeah, them. They, yeah, they did, um, the they, did they did R slash incel. And it was yeah. hilarious. Fucking suit house are fantastic. Yeah. Suit house are pretty good. But I'm fucking Slazo. The thing is, the thing I love about it is, they just all sound like the same person speaking into different microphones. Oh, they and have one of them. They have fucking one lady. In this, so I can tell her. Yeah. In half, half the apps. Your favourite GTA 4? I can respect that. GTA 4 is good. As long as you don't say 5, because 5 is just. Disappointing. It's not a bad game, don't get me wrong. It's actually a very, very good game, GTA 5. It's just. Oh fuck. Not as good. It's not as good, yeah. I agree. Like, 4's story is way superior to 5's. So. Yeah. And also, Vladivo Stork FM. I mean, can you just not? Vladivo Stork is the greatest radio state. Well, it was. Um. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore! Fuck. But. You know, back in the day, when you had Grupo Krovi, I mean, how can you not enjoy that game without Emil, Grupo you're gonna need to fucking send me that shit. Oh, yeah, the CD. Well, not the yeah. CD. Yeah, I'll send you the thing. Yeah. No worries. You'll have to fucking send me that. Oh, I think it might actually be on my computer. I'll have a look in a bit. Might do. Uh, anyways, there's 50% discount on a bunch of shit, and 30 is and 20 is because we've driven Mercedes. We also got 177,000 credits, which doesn't pay for the car. And 46,000 credits, which might just about pay for the car. <laughs> Including modifications, but we'll sell those later on. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we'll be taking a look at the 169 Kill Myself of Suzuka Circuit. So join us for that. Until then... Farewell.